Steve McCurry has been an extremely influential voice in modern photography for over 30 years. He was originally born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1950 and grew up in a small suburb. He went on to study at Pennsylvania State University, where he graduated with a degree in film. After college, McCurry worked for a local newspaper and did freelance work on the side before he finally decided to take his talents to India. It was here that he found his voice in photography and went on to travel all throughout the continent. McCurry's work mostly consists of ethically evaluative photos, giving us a glimpse of cultures and traditions that many people have yet to experience. His most famous photo, titled Afghan Girl, has appeared numerous times on the cover of National Geographic since it was taken in 2002. The piercing green eyes and deep red shayla that the young woman adorns gives off an intense dramatic mood, making it one of the most well-known photographs of its time. This next photo of a man running on a beach is more so interpretive or aesthetically evaluative. The low exposure and complementary colors are satisfying to the viewer, while the bullseye composition allows your eye to immediately meet the subject of the photo. The use of a medium to low shutter speed, rather than a higher shutter speed, shows a slight blur near the legs, which emphasizes quick movement of the subject and gives the photographed emotion in itself. This next photo contains ethically evaluative characteristics. The monochromatic coloring and intense texture in the rubble of the background creates a somber mood of despair and destruction. The use of the rule of odds composition with a low perspective angle creates a feeling of power from the rubble, domineering and worrisome over the small man beneath it. This photograph could very well be meant to bring attention to the destruction that goes on throughout the world that we are often ignorant to. This next photo of a young boy holding a gun also holds many characteristics of an ethically evaluated photo. The use of three primary colors in the photo makes the picture and its subject stand out, and the negative space in the background of the photo also helps the subject to pop from the picture. The use of a high perspective gives off an image of innocence from the boy and urges the audience to feel as if they are the more powerful counterpart. The boy's clothes are almost completely blue, symbolizing peace and honesty, which makes the child hold peaceful qualities even though he's holding a gun and has a knife strapped to his chest. The jacket that the boy is dressed in is too big for him and gives off the image of being younger and more childish. The part of this photo that really stands out is how the young boy is looking up at the photo and straight into the camera lens, making the photo feel more personal. I found that a majority of McCurry's work held an emphasis on composition in order to grab the viewer's attention. His portraits gave you a glimpse into the lives and hearts of the subjects being photographed because he caught them at vulnerable moments in their lives. He spent much time overseas photographing situations that people in America do not often see in order to acknowledge the differences throughout our cultures. His photographs have not only built a bridge between our cultures and the ones that we do not often notice, but they've brought attention to the unjust treatment that many families and children face in different countries. His work is not only beautiful, but it has real meaning that hopes to impact the people that view it.